All right, Halloween just ended, but it's already starting to look a lot like Christmas out there. And with stores nationwide debuting decorations, and setting up their holiday displays. But as consumers look to get an early start, perhaps, on their holiday shopping, economists say a number of factors are transforming how and where we get our gifts. Ted Linder unwraps that story. Stores are already filling up with decorations and gifts as shoppers start hunting for early deals ahead of December. Thank you so much. Yeah, Have a happy you. holiday. According to the National Retail Federation, nearly 40% of consumers plan to start crossing off items on their shopping lists earlier than they normally do this holiday season. This strategy can help people spread out their budgets a little better. But retail experts say a slew of economic factors will impact shopping habits this year. And it starts with ongoing inflation, keeping the cost of many everyday items high. Things like uh, gas and food. That then affects what we have for discretionary spending for other things like big ticket items like TVs or apparel or things like that. That combined with the end of the student loan repayment pause is expected to impact the buying power of younger parents. Rodney Runyon of Purdue University says these reasons will help fuel online holiday shopping this year and beyond. Prices are going up. If online you can get a better deal, that's great. Second part of that is logistics, and people aren't necessarily sure when they go into a store if the selection is going to be there, so they might as well shop from home. High levels of retail theft across the country are also causing some stores to either close or lock up their inventory. It causes them to have to raise prices, but in some cases it also makes, uh, re uh, not retailers, but consumers wary of going to the store. And so all those things are, are part of what is driving people even more to online shopping. Ted Lindner, Fox News.